Beneficiaries of the Livelihood Empowerment Program LEAP are asking the government to release the grants immediately. They are paid between 64 and 106 CDs, an amount that has already been criticized as inadequate. When all the beneficiaries say their woes have deepened as the recent delays in the bi-monthly payments have brought hardships on some of them. My colleague Justice Bedu has been out to meet some of them. Jamestown, British Accra, serene and yet one of Accra's most populated suburbs. British Accra is one of the oldest inner cities in Ghana. In places like this, cases of high unemployment, low educational attainment and issues with housing challenges mean poverty levels are high. And it is in places like this that social interventions like the Livelihood Empowerment Program comes in critical. The Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty Program is a cash transfer aimed at cushioning people at the very bottom of the income ladder in Ghana. Mainly disabled, aged and sick people. It is in Jamestown that Nicolina Ama lives. She's a single parent with four children and is a caregiver for a 90-year-old woman. She is a LEAP beneficiary and gets paid a little over 60 cities every two months. Very, very difficult. Sometimes, uh, Life is tough for me. There are days I stay indoors and cry. There are too many problems. Living alone is tough. So think about living with all these children. It's tough. Very tough. It's tough. Very tough. Nicolina has been hoping that the amount from the LEAP program would be increased so she could reinvest in her dressmaking business. This man, tobacco. No. I'm waiting for it. This month, the money has delayed. We are waiting for it. But sometimes, we are called that the money is coming. So this month too, we are waiting for the call that the money is coming. We are expecting it this month. It wasn't last month too. Last two months, we collected it. So we are expecting something this month. It makes it two months, two months. You see, but one thing I could say is, if uh, the money is trying to keep, normally it doesn't happen. We are about 38. Mercy Okain, herself a caregiver on the program, is also a community leader here in Jamestown. She has consistently spoken about a need to increase the amount of money paid to beneficiaries. The money is not enough to take care of the old lady. So if they want increment, yeah, we want. If I say they want, we want increments. Because you see the situation and the problems on the ground. That one will not do anything. There is no it's supporting, it can take care of you totally. Our attempt to get answers from the LEAP Secretariat has been unsuccessful as beneficiaries continue to sit in a long, painful wait. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Jamestown.